Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're jumping into 2-5 cash games, buying for this game's $500. Open A3 suit against the limp, get 3 bets. Um, I think deep enough, over 150 blinds effective, we'll call him position. I know the, the, it gets inflated a bit pre-flop, because of the limp, but I think still fine. And we flop top and bottom, huge. Not playing any raises on the sport here, we'll just call. Turn 10 of clubs. And then if he bets here, I don't think in position we're in a jam. I think we'll just call and then pretty easy call versus any non-club. I would prefer to see no king or queen either. Um, obviously a 10 or 7 bet. So there are some bad rivers, but I think just want to call. And ooh, get counterfeit so bad. The club's come in too. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so out of position, we do a lot more turn check raising than like jamming in position. I maybe should have on this one where there's a decent amount of draws and there's a decent amount of bad rivers. But the thing is, if I have these draws, like I'm probably just going to do a lot of flatting. So unfortunately, like the absolute worst river is going to be the seven of clubs. So we get counterfeit. I don't think making a hero call down here. So really tilting river. But uh, especially deeper, I don't think we'd want to jam the turn. I think we just call and then let him keep bluffing with his bluffs. And then as played, we just fold. Button opens, we three bet ace jack, get called. Bet the flop for half, get called. And then turn diamond, so not loving it. So we have top pair, top kicker, but a diamond on the turn. Not ideal. So we'll start with a check. And then eight river, I'm trying to think here. Block or big? I'm gonna go for block. Not 100% sure on the size here. So some bad things on the river here. Queen 10, I think he can check that back. He can have some 9-8. So queen 10 on the turn, particularly if he doesn't have diamonds, I think is a reasonable check. If he didn't raise that on the flop. So we're really hoping not to get raised here, but I wouldn't be shocked. And it's a decent spot for him to go for a bluff too. Um, let's see here. So having a club is bad, but it being the jack's not an issue. If it was like the ace of clubs would be bad, because that'd be some of his floats. Let's see. On the turn, if he decides just to flop the flop with a set of nines or threes, I think it makes sense for him to check the diamond turn. Uh, feels like we're folding a ton if we fold this one, but I mean, queen ten comes in, nine eight makes sense. Like I said, if he has a set of threes or nines, I think if he's going to just call flop, sometimes I think it makes sense to check a diamond turn sometimes. So I think we're going to fold, even though it feels like our hand's a little underrepped here. I would feel much better on like a six river, but we'll fold top top here. Uh, cutoff opens here, three betting button, king, queen, get called, flop, and top two. Just call six turn, easy bet on the turn. No flush draw comes in, this is beautiful. Realistically, the only river I really don't want to see are like a nine or an ace, I think. I'd imagine 10 nines folding by the turn here, particularly because he can't have a flush draw. So I really just don't want to see Jack-10 come in and prefer for no ace too. King River got the boat and is pretty ideal. And then here on the river, just under pot, only size we're using is jam if we bet. So obviously this is a bet. Going for hopefully has like King Jack, King-10 and has to call. Ace-Queen maybe doesn't believe us. So we go for the jam. Going for the value. Eventually calls queen, jack, and we're good. So yeah, queen, jack makes a lot of sense for a call too because when I'm triple barely, I'm basically saying a king or better. So when he has queen, jack, he's blocking my boats of king, queen. He blocks pocket queens and he blocks king, jack. So definitely makes sense to call down there. Fortunately for us, we just had it. Open queens in the cutoff. See the three bets. Some four betting, some flatting. I'm going to go four bet this time. Just over 100 blinds effective. Once we do this, it would be to call up the jam. Just say a call. 954 SPR is what? A little over one and a half to one. So we'll start with the bet here, calling if they check jam. Hopefully not trapping aces. Hopefully it has like jacks or tens that jams. Or if they have the flush draw, we hold. All right, don't show me aces. Jacks hold. Dream setup, just got a hold, and we do. So it's quite a bit of run good right there. 
All right, open queens get three back. We had this exact formation just like three minutes ago against Shelm where we four bet with queens. Excuse me. So we're going to do it again. Again, kind of have some flats as well, but higher frequency four bet. And just see a call. Ace, ace, seven. 62.5. So I'll go quarter pot here. Could even go like 20% pot, I think. But we'll go for quarter with the intention to check turn quite a bit. See the call, seven turn. So interesting turn. I think what's, I might just completely range check here. So like I'd want to check an ace, kings, queens, flush draws. So I think I'm actually just completely checking range in this spot. Which then makes it, if he jams river, I think I can fold because I'm still going to have the ace-ox here. And then if he checks... I'm trying to think if I can value jam. So he's not going to have king's pre. I'm trying to think if he would want to bet an ace or not. Probably a lot. I'm probably just going to check, but there's a chance I'm maybe supposed to jam. So if he jams here, I'm just going to fold. We even block like him having king, queen, and diamonds exactly. So like having the diamonds worse. But even if we didn't have a diamond... Because I'm going to have tons of ace -X, not tons, but I'll have like ace-king and then some of my weaker, like th like if I four bet ace-five, ace-four suit at some frequency. Uh, so I'll have those calls so I can fold this one. So we have under gun open, hijack flats, squeeze and button with jacks. See a call. Let's see what the hijack does. So we start about 100 blinds effective here. We are the shorter stack. So we go heads up to the flop, flop top set, very nice. And I'm gonna play this as a check back. Decently wet board, but having this combo of jacks is good too because we block the flush draws. So if we're ever gonna have check backs to trap here, I think this is the best one top set with the club. Turn two. So if we get check two on the turn, we will start betting. And I think in general, if we bet three quarters, Half pot. I'm not sure here. We're gonna go for half. Maybe supposed to be three quarters though. And raises. Okay, so I think we're just gonna call and keep the bluffs in. Either flush draw comes in, we just call off. Um, if I, I'm trying to think if I want to jam here. Obviously, we could get some cooler rivers for him to. Yeah, I think this is just a pure call and then call any river. Mainly hope to see no heart, but don't want a club either. Six river seems fine. I think we have the nuts outside of 5-4, right? All right, jams we call. Set over set on the flop. Super cooler there. And we're good with top set. So we get two calls. Um, flop a gut shot. Just going to check. Turn six. Player jams, so obviously can be behind. It's scary when they jam into two people, but a lot of times people will just blast here like 10-9, 10-8, jack-9, stuff like that. So we're going to be calling, and then I think shown behind has to play pretty honestly. So we'll just call here. Not loving it, but put in the call. Hopefully have some diamond draws. We block some of those with the jack of diamonds, but we call. Has queen-10. We're in awful shape, and at jack's no good. Here we open eights in the cutoff. Small blind, three bets we call. Flop bottom set here. Checks to us and we'll go for the bet. Really wet board, obviously. Let's see the call, ace turn. Um, I believe get to bet again, but like bottom set's kind of weird. <laughs> um, so I think we're just going to go bet again. So obviously there's a decent amount of hands we lose too, even like aces here, but I think we still go for value. Actually, it's. I'm going to bet, but I wouldn't be shocked if I maybe can check this. Like, we're really, what, targeting ace-10 suited, ace-9 suited now? Jam and ace-king and aces over here. Uh, we get jammed down here. Pretty gross, but at this point, we're not folding a set. I don't think. 10, set over set on the flop. Oh, maybe should have trusted my gut there for a second on that turn. So we lose an ace-king in versus aces pre. We get stacked set over set there in a spot where maybe I should be a bit more conservative. Weird one there. 
Anyways, we lose two spots or two pots at 500. We're down to plus 213 today. I probably should have at least thought about it with that eights a bit more. Because it's just like, what is the bluff ever? Small blind limps raising king 10 suited. Goes for the limp raise. Uh, going to call, but not loving it. So I'll take this flop in position. Flop top pair. Pretty good start. 10 4 2. Checks to us. And I know we're facing the limp raise on the flop, but I think still need to bet top pair. Now, if he goes for the check raise on the flop, it gets really scary on such a dry board, but we bet call. Uh, seven turn. So, especially blind versus blind, like, I'd imagine his over pairs. It depends how he plays his range, but a lot of people will bet, like, their aces or jacks here. Ace 10 will bet. So, I think I still prefer betting twice here. I'm trying to set this up for, like, geometric sizing, roughly. Call, river four. Gonna have some ace four suited if he uses that one. I think we just have to jam this. I'm really curious to see what he shows up with. I don't, I don't think I'm valuing myself if I jam here. Oh, just roll over nines and be good. Snap call is probably not good. Does have the jacks. Shoot. All right. So he did check the over pair. I go for three streets. Maybe a little thin there. I'm not really sure what, like, because I don't play limps out of the small blind, so I don't really know what those ranges look like usually, like the limp raises. But I think once they check flop, I want to go for it with king 10, check queen 10 at some point. But maybe, maybe a little hopeful there. It'd be interesting to like study that spot so I at least understand opponents that do have limps there, like what their strategy looks like. So sometimes you're just going to value on yourself. I'm not 100% sure that was a good one to go for, but we did decide to go for it. Like I said, once we get snap called, we're not feeling super great. So we have limp. I think it's a post raise. We'll just call eights here. Could raise as well. Player goes all in. So I think this is a post. So I think for 40 blinds, I think I'm just going to call off eights here. This might be a mistake. But 186 to win 222. All right, we call. They have threes. Great spot here. Just got to hold. And we do. Eights are good. Small blind open here, call ace four. Very good start, top and bottom pair. Bets pots, even better. Uh, I'm gonna go for the raise here, trying to target like their good ace -X. Hopefully has ace, king, or ace, queen, and we hold. Hold, no queen. Don't pair the board either. All right, perfect. Ace four wins a massive pot there. Button open, small blind three bet, put in the cold four bet here with ace, king suited. See the call pretty quick. Ooh, two kings on the flop. Very good start here. Um, 45, 90, 180. Yeah. So we got 20% pot here on the flop. King, king, five. Raises. Uh, just going to flat call here. Keep in any bluffs. Such a dry board. They have a kink. We'll stack them anyways. So let's sit here for a minute and just call. Try to make it seem like I have a decision with like queens, jacks, tens, maybe even aces. So we call jack on the turn. Hopefully they don't have king jack. That would be tilting. Hopefully it's like king queen or something or just a random bluff that goes for it. So if they check, I'll probably check. If they bet we call sixes with bluff, ace king is good. Very nice pot. Um, under again, open, hijack three bets. We're going to cold four bet, get called. We're playing super deep here. So we get the eight, six, three. Start with third. So pretty strong ranges here still. Um, gets called. We probably have to start pot controlling turn, particularly on a 10. So even though there's no over cards, like pocket tens is something we're targeting. So we're going to check here. River is set. Nice. Um, as this hand's been played, I don't think they have nine, seven suited, even though we're super deep. So it feels like the nuts. Question is, can I jam? Or do I raise not all in? I think we go for raise not all in. What if I call like 620? All right, we're gonna raise not all in. I 
mean, don't expect queen nine, nine, seven, but we are super deep. To be fair, I don't think he three bets those hijack versus under the gun, so. I'm not sure if I should be playing jam or this size here against block, but. So to go 580. If he jams, we just call, and if he just has the straight and an insane pot here, we just lose. But like I said, I don't think he has those hands through betting the hijack pre. So I think we're fine. Hopefully he just has a set of tens and decides he can go for it. But I don't know. Maybe levels himself into thinking I have like aces or kings trying to go for thinner value and decides to jam tens. Looks like a fold. Ooh, a call last second. All right, call. I thought he folded. All right, so jacks are good. Had pocket kings. Wow, we get super lucky on the river. What a river card, guys. Getting paid. Button opens, get two blind calls. We'll call a big pot, or a big bet on the flop. Turn four. So I do get a little concerned when they bet big into two people. And then, so we're gonna call one more, but I, my alarm bells are already going off a bit here, <laughs> to be honest. So we'll call one more, nine river check. So we do block the jack 10 that comes in, but we don't block diamonds missing. So it gets kind of interesting if he jams. Uh, brother, let me think about this if he jams. All right, so what, how thin of a hand would he go for bet, bet, bet here? Because jack 10 comes in, I'd imagine like his top sets can, I don't know if he goes for king, queen here, probably still. I think we're gonna end up folding. My guess is theory-wise, it's probably supposed to be a call king, jack without a diamond. So if I fold here, I'm a little concerned that we're folding a ton. Like this is actually gonna be a better call than like nine eight probably. Um, if this was a single like heads up pot, it'd be different. But even like I said, even on the flop when they bet big into two people, like alarm bells are already going off a bit. So I think like I'll fold for being a lot of that being that part of the reason too. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up a seven hour cash game session. A nice winning one here for us. So we played seven hours at two five one two and fifty cent a dollar. Two thousand eight hundred fifty one hands profit of two thousand two hundred and fourteen dollars. Uh, quite swingy session. Minus seven hundred plus one point six minus four hundred and then ended up plus two point two. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.